Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I installed this wig from Julia Hair. This is like a honey blonde curly wig. We've seen these wigs before plenty of times, like the highlight color, and it is so pretty. I've always just like liked the highlight color on me, on my skin. I feel like the blonde really just like suits me, the honey blonde. All I did, really all I did was wash the wig and install it. I did not cut it at all. I didn't do anything, I didn't bleach any knots because the, bleach, the knots were pretty much bleached already because of the color. I really just kept it simple with this wig. I did not wet it, so this piece is kind of like fluffy. If I were to wet it, it would define it, but I just kind of like ran my fingers through it to kind of make it a little bit bigger. So you can see the curls down here. This is what the curls look like when they're not like ran through, but I wanted to make the front bigger, so I did run my fingers through it and kind of fluff it up. But I personally like this look. I like how it just looks big and fluffy so this wig was super easy to install i didn't do much i didn't have to do much i just used a little i just used one layer of glue and put the wig on because this wig is about to come right off once this camera turns off so i only used one layer of glue i actually need to buy more glue because i'm like out that's how you know i don't really do frontals anymore or i haven't been doing frontals because i have like no glue like none, no glue. Did I say that this hair is from Julia Hair? I don't know. I've worked with them a million times. You guys have seen Julia Hair um, on my my channel a lot. If you guys are returning subscribers or even if you're not subscribing, you watch my videos a couple times. You've probably seen that I have worked with Julia Hair multiple times and they're a really great company. I like them. Um, I do recommend them. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe for me, please. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs up if you didn't like it. You guys want to see how I got my wig to look like this or just installed it basically then just keep on watching
Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I love this wig. I've done like multiple wigs. I've done a lot of videos on wigs like this, this curly highlight wig, um, a couple of them. And this one is like really, I like this one. I like how the highlights are placed. I love how there's this big chunk right here that's kind of light. And there's a big chunk right here that's really light. And I just feel like, it, I feel like the color fits my face really well. Like it's giving, I don't know. I just like the way it looks. Um, I did kind of like run my fingers through it, so that's why this part is a little fluffy. You can wet it if you want to define it, put some curl products in if you want the curl stay super defined. But whenever I do wear a curly wig, I like for the hair to be like super big, so I like to just kind of go through and mess it up a bit. I feel like it gives it a little bit more of a natural look whenever the hair is like a little bit puffy and not so defined. Um, of course, this isn't like a natural, but you can make your wig look as natural as possible, you know, so I like that. I love this color on my skin. I just feel like the highlight colors just always just like really hit on my skin for some reason. I mean, I guess it just compliments me. I don't know. But this hair is super nice. Of course, with curly hair, you're going to have a little bit of shedding. It's not really a problem for me. It doesn't really bother me because, you know, your real hair sheds. So as long as it's not too much to wear, it's like everywhere all over your house and you're leaving hair trails wherever you go, it's fine with me. This way, it's 24 inches. I did not cut it at all. This is like the length that it comes when it's 24 inches. I didn't layer it. I didn't do anything. I just washed it and installed it i believe the density is like 150 with curly hair you really don't want to go too high in density because the hair is already big once it's dry unless you just like really 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 love the super thick curly wig look then i would go higher than 150 so i'm gonna have all the hair details down below for you guys in the description box if you guys want to check out julia hair and if you guys are not subscribed already how about you go ahead and click the subscribe button and like this video if you liked it give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it but thank you guys so much for watching and i'm gonna talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.